Do you ever wonder why your blood pressure fluctuates whole day? Sometimes is high, sometimes normal, and sometimes is low. This is a very common problem and you are not alone. Let's dive deep into this problem to alleviate any kind of anxieties and fears. Welcome to my channel Conless MD. The mission of Conless MD is to simplify healthcare information to empower you with knowledge and tools so that you can live long, happy, stress-free life. Why your blood pressure fluctuates? I want to give you three tips in this video so that you understand the normal and abnormal fluctuation of blood pressure. Those three reasons are number 1 circadian rhythm, number 2 anxiety and stress reaction, number 3 is that your blood pressure is not controlled let us talk about number 1 circadian rhythm your blood pressure fluctuates on daily basis 9 am in the morning if you serially take your blood pressure will be the highest reading as the day passes your blood pressure start going down at 12 am midnight your blood pressure will be lowest and then it start going up to be high at 9 o'clock in the morning so if you take blood pressure at different times you may notice some physiological fluctuations in your blood pressure but usually the fluctuation due to circadian rhythm are not significantly high second anxiety and stress reaction life has its own flavors if you're stressed anxious physically tired or thinking about something that will affect your autonomic nervous system and your hormonal system that will raise your blood pressure artificially but that's a physiological change that is not a pathological blood pressure which is high number 3 your blood pressure if all the readings are staying high it could be that you need more medications and your blood pressure is not well controlled how do you decide whether your blood pressure is controlled or not controlled just remember your age if you are age more than 60 your target blood pressure is less than 150 over 90 if you are less than 60 target blood pressure is 140 over 90 or less there are certain special circumstances if you are a diabetic you have a heart attack and stroke and if you have a kidney failure we should aim to lower your blood pressure to 130 over 80 what is unique about these numbers that is where you have the least number of side effects least amount of complications How do we solve this problem of fluctuating blood pressure and trying to know what is normal and what is abnormal you need to check your blood pressure at home anxiety can contribute about 20 to 30% increase in blood pressure so if you take your serial blood pressures and you record in different circumstances we call it ambulatory blood pressure monitoring then keep a log of this blood pressure and bring it to your doctor's office they will be able to counter check with their machines which are usually more sophisticated calibrated and i hope they are more proficient in techniques how to record the blood pressure if your blood pressure is falling within a physiological state and occasionally goes high when you are stressed or depending on your circadian rhythm you do not need to worry but if your blood pressure on home monitoring or ambulatory monitoring if is running high you must see your physician so that they could adjust your medications and you could prevent chronic complications only way we could resolve this fluctuating blood pressure frustration fear and anxiety is you you need to monitor your blood pressure at home and communicate with your doctor if you do that you will be able to prevent unnecessary anxiety and fear and if it's high you will be treated and you will be able to prevent complications 
I hope you like this video and thank you for your attention. Please do not forget to like, share and comment on this video so that we could improve our content.